weed on it. Right. And of course you're in the bush and everything and you can't. <laughs> I'm just going to turn on the siren. Uh, I say it's all right to keep on eating here. This is just our own. This is not the, the news. So uh, I'm pleased that all of you could join me at breakfast this morning for our class reunion. And uh, the last time we met, we focused on economic and defense issues. And we made some good progress on both fronts. I assume we're all still in the same class. We all came in together as freshmen. So. But uh, now, on the economic side, all the indications are that we're making real progress. And that we've laid the groundwork for a sustained economic growth. And I'm confident that we can keep this country moving in that right direction. Just recently, we announced a new INF work negotiating position. And I've also had an opportunity to express my views on our national security needs uh, to the country. And it seems that the Soviet Union, as of this morning, has gotten a message that something's going on. The MX Commission will report uh, its recommendations very shortly. And I've outlined our intention to initiate development of a defensive strategic capability, which might involve a dangerous spiral of more and more destructive offensive nuclear weapons. I've been amused by some of the treatment of that in the press uh, about this defensive weapon ranging all the way from Star Wars to an impossibility. Maybe you'd like to be reminded, if you don't know already or have a thought of it, that uh, Admiral Leahy in World War II was vehement in his presentation to Franklin Delano Roosevelt that the atomic bomb could never succeed and would not even go off. And then a few years later, when Eisenhower was president, Vannevar Bush, great nuclear scientist, said that the idea that you could create a missile that could emerge from a silo in this country and land on a target in another, in another continent was absolutely impossible, never could be done. I only say that for those people that say that it's impossible to find a defensive weapon. Uh, I'll say that if we try and, and can't find it. <coughs> I think a good deal of our success so far in what has been accomplished has been the kind of teamwork we've seen operating between the administration and the Republican Senate. And I hope this will continue in the months ahead as we consider the important legislative items that are on the agenda. And speaking of the agenda, I think the 98th Congress is already off to a good start, having passed both the jobs bill and the major social security package. And I appreciate your help on these two important <coughs> matters. I know that those of you who are members of the Budget Committee are in the midst of marking up the first concurrent budget resolution, and that will be a very important item on everyone's agenda. I'm particularly concerned, as some of you know, about the defense function. I've reviewed our defense program carefully, and will continue to do so. But I believe that it does reflect basic requirements we must have to rebuild the defenses in a useful time frame. I know there's some disagreement on this matter, but I hope you'll remember that we have already modified the defense program several times and simply can't afford a large reduction, another one this year. When the debate starts, I hope you'll remember that in 81, when we proposed the increase over the Carter projected defense budget of $116 billion, that since then, We've reduced that 116 by $60 billion ourselves, and we'll continue to try and find every area we can. As I mentioned earlier, we'll also have that MX Commission's report shortly, and I hope that this is something that will be favorably received by the Congress. We'll be working closely with the Hill on this issue, and I'll have more to say about this in the near future when I receive all the details from the Commission. We've also been working very hard on a number of foreign policy issues, El Salvador, <coughs> the arms control negotiations. One item of particular concern to me is the nomination of Kenneth Edelman to serve as Director of Arms Control and Disarmament Agency. I have every confidence in his ability, and I know that he can serve as a strong and effective advocate of the arms control. And I hope that the Senate will act expeditiously and approving me on this ratification. 
There are a number of other thing, number of items I know we should discuss, and I also want to have an opportunity for some general discussion here. So before I do that, I'm going to quit talking, and I am going to ask our distinguished majority leader for a few. Pleasure to, to know you, to meet you well. And Mr. Hello there. And Mr. Hello. 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 Mr. President, we're with great honor. Thank you. 
upon them as to how much good it would do. Yes. Thank you very much. Well, now, would you mind? Yes. I think if, would you get in there with your husband? Yeah. Come on, everybody. Come in. And uh, maybe two on one side and two on the other. Well, welcome all. Thank you very much. Seated over here for a few minutes, yeah. and we'll exchange our yeah. papers, and then we'll all get up in front of the fireplace. 
place and you can join us and we'll have a picture of how we'll end up and we can hit the nail on that. Bond together our two egos in this relationship to yeah. have things uh, break apart or deteriorate. Mm -hmm. I know there are some problems, but I'm sure that we can all be resolved. And, uh, please extend my greetings to the, the chairman, the mayor, the general secretary. I have the pleasure of meeting them, two of the three. Yeah. And uh, as I say, I job is to work toward the how to develop our relations and we know that they are difficult and problems and, uh, and we do hope that uh, we do hope that uh, that so long as we uh, abide by the principles we both have uh, our two government if we do it this will be make it possible for us to establish a basis to uh, put our relation on a, a good basis. And I would want that to thank you much more. Yeah. Yeah. So may I present my little of guidance and also my remark from my writing. <laughs> All right. Thank you, well, <laughs> thank you very much. And we'll now, do you want to hear her back there? Please, sir, back here. Yeah. Yeah. Back here. Thank you very much. So this, I'll have to take with me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Boy, thank you so much. Public okay. report. And also, His Majesty Sultan Qaboos is looking forward to his visit to the United States on the 11th of this month. Yes. And I am confident that you two will discuss a lot of mutual bilateral problems and issues between the two countries. Issues between the two countries. I am sure. Now, 